Hello, beautiful Scorpio, and welcome to your weekly reading. I'm Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. I hope that everyone is doing good at this time. Um, thank you for, for, for popping in. Hopefully this reading connects with you. I'm sure if the title resonated, the reading will resonate too. Um, so let's just get right into it. Okay, my loves? All right. If you are new here, welcome to the tribe. And those of you guys returning, welcome back. Um, I'm going to start... I'm going to start with some, some tarot. For Scorpio, please. So keep in mind that, you know, this is, these are weekly messages, but, you know, you could find this five years from now, right? And it can resonate absolutely on your, on your timeline that you're on at that moment. Um, and this can go out for several weeks for sure. All right, here we go for Scorpio, for Scorpio. Eight of Cups, walking away from people, places, and things. Okay, Cups that are not serving you. They're just draining you. All right, so some of you guys might be walking away. Yeah, look at this. And the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords, painful endings. And then the two of cups. Oh my gosh. I just recorded um, Capricorn's reading and they have like, I mean, I'm just starting this message, but I can already feel it. Like they had a very similar energy here where there was like walking away, a breakup, painful cycles um, ending here in partnerships. Okay, so this could be you ending something. For some of you guys, this could be, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be maybe you're walking away, ending, um, you know, a painful cycle with a family member or a friendship or a business partner or an associate, right? So just that could be for some of you guys, but I think for the most part, it's, it's love. And if it's not you, then it's maybe someone you connect to like a soulmate or, you know, that kind of thing. All right. Mm -hmm. And there's something here about like a really fake relationship. It's like, and when I say that, I mean, it's, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's karmic. Um, but it's like all about image and it's all about like, like if it's a marriage, then it would be like, um, you know, two people who have been just like, you know, they sleep in separate rooms but when they, you know, but everyone outside of the, of their home still thinks, you know, they, they, they put on a front, they act like, oh, everything's good. Happy go lucky. Our relationship is good. You know, oh yeah, everything's great, but it's all fake. That's what I'm getting here. And someone's finally putting an end to it. Okay. It's like, I can't, I can't be false. I can't be fake anymore in my life. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's keep going. Let's see what else comes out. So this could be happening, obviously, like around this time, but it could, um, maybe it's already happened in the recent past, or maybe it's happening in like a few weeks, right? So, or a month, right? Someone's definitely done with something here. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, and it, it came out and it like flew on top of the Two of Cups. So again, similar to what I said to Capricorns in their reading, um, <clears throat> that it's time for, for an ending here. Okay. But see how she's like a, a, like a, a movie star. See how she's on the, the movie posters. Okay. Like, Someone could be an actor, an actress, or a celebrity, like status, energy, or you could be in the spotlight somehow, maybe through a, a large, you know, through social media or um, through like a platform or a channel, you know, things like that. <clears throat> but I'm just getting like pretentious energy here, like someone who cares about looks and image and what people think and, you know, like that kind of a thing. 
that could be, again, why something has been prolonged is what I want to say. The emperor is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, this could be a divine masculine. Um, in Capricorn's reading, it was coming through like that. That's It's even in the message or the title, I mean. Emperor, an emperor is leaving a karmic situation. Um, and it's very much the same. Yeah, see, I stopped shuffling and I and called a look down. And it's the wheel of fortune. It's about moving on. It's about karmic like cycles. Like you've learned some lessons here. Okay, so I'm going to take it out because... It, I saw it like that in Capricorn's reading and I think, and I mentioned it, but I didn't take it out. And then at the end I was like, I should have taken it. Okay. So it is time to move forward from something. It is time to move on. Someone is feeling like they're just done. Yeah. And then the sun card, which is the biggest yes you can possibly get. Okay. It's also about awakening enlightenment, right? Ascension, um, extreme happiness, bliss, you know, joy, inner child energies, divine masculine energy too. Okay. It's like someone who sees the light now. Okay. And I feel that whoever this is, I feel like they are going through a spiritual awakening, which is giving them the strength to walk away, to move forward, to end things. Okay. They're seeing the bigger picture. They're seeing things clearly. There's clarity here. Okay, and the sun is from, it's a freedom type energy. Okay, so for me, it is that. It's also successful energy. All right, I feel like, I feel like that's a message for you, my loves, right? I feel like that there is um, things opening up. There's fortune, the wheel of destiny is turning. Okay, and it's like the way that I'm getting, it's like turning and it's connecting with the sun energy. I just saw seven, seven. Okay, so see lucky seven, 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 lucky sevens. You could be seeing that a lot. Okay, or you'll start seeing it. I'm also getting 10, 10. <clears throat> and the will of fortune is 10. Um, King of pentacles. Yeah, see, there's something here about like stability and wealth and, um, you know, uh, success again, successful energy investments, you know, or investing in, or maybe like profits, like starting your own company or business or, um, you know, things like that. Okay. He's, he's, he's very successful here. He's even got an award here. Okay. So about like, oh, you know, being rewarded. Okay. Is what I want to say, but really what it is, is it's your good karma. It's like the things that you have been manifesting or working for, or, you know, calling in. Okay. And then we have the moon. You have the sun and the moon. Yin and yang. Feminine, masculine. Okay. Again, you know, and the moon speaks of shadow energy, right, too? And illusions. Okay, so it's like someone who's been living in, it's like living a lie. Is it, It's living in illusions. And I feel that there's like things that are coming to light for you guys that are connected to the, again, the sun and the wheel of fortune, destined things, a turning point, you know, stuff like that. Right. And I feel like it's stuff that has been hidden. Like it was about divine timing, seven of pentacles. Okay. Maybe you've been feeling a little low or lost or down you know, um, maybe there's been some dark emotions around things or, you know, a feeling of like where maybe some of you guys have just been like, you know, like <laughs> I can't take much more of this, right? Like something's got to give here, right? That's what I'm getting. Okay. Um, and, and these painful endings and things too, for some of you guys, it could be like a job that ended or, um, you know, just an example, right? So, and it could have put you into a, a state of like, you know, deep emotion. And, you know, that's just going to be for some of you guys. But yeah. All right. The fool. Yeah. Someone who's taking a leap of faith and they are there. They're, they're, there's a new direction here is what I want to say. This is new beginnings for you guys, though. Okay. 
And that's what I mean. Like these new beginnings were hidden until the right time. Okay. And we do, and we do have the two of cups, right? And, and I know it's like, I'm getting like a few different types of things from it. Like, you know, obviously like the partnership and all that, but this feels like there could be a collaboration here for some of you guys, a partnership. And I'm taking, I'm talking platonic. Like I'm talking like, you know, you go in on a business with a, another person or you invest, invest in something with someone or, you know, it's things like that is what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, all right. So new beginnings here, a clean slate, a fresh start. That's what this person wants in their life. Okay. It's like, I'm ready for, for new. I'm ready for a clean slate. Okay, someone could be traveling possibly. Um, someone could be like, I'm just getting like, I know she's not a flight attendant, but it kind of reminds me of a flight attendant suit. Someone could be a flight attendant, um, a pilot or airplanes can be relevant for some reason. Getting business travel. Maybe some of you guys are traveling for business or you will be. Okay, that's all just, you know, whoever it's for, it's gonna be confirmation. And we have like him, like Knight of Swords going places here. Okay, move it. Things are moving fast here. Things are picking up speed for you. Okay. All right. So let's go back to this other, this other, the the King of Pentacles. Let's let's talk about him. All right. Tell me more about the moon and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely like emotional loss or something here. The star card, wow. You have the moon, the stars, and the sun. All right. So again, there could be there could be like some kind of stardom, fame. Okay, this is like, you know, it's also I'm getting like starseed energy, okay? Um, wishes being fulfilled, right? But I'm clarifying the king of pentacles and the moon card. So it's like the stars aligning. Okay. Like there's some, there's some kind of destiny here with the star and the wheel of fortune for sure. You guys should really check out Capricorn's message. I think you'll resonate a lot with it. If you feel called, of course. Okay. So Tell me more about this energy here. The, 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 tell me more about the King of Pentacles and the Moon. Okay, Swords came out and Justice came out, landed right here. Yeah, it's definitely divine timing here. There's, there's, there's some type of karmic justice, okay? Someone like, okay, balancing things out. There could be something about like, you know, a divorce, marriage, things like that, right? But... I'm just getting like karma, page of swords, but like came over here. And like the spying energy, right? The spy. I think we have strength on the bottom of the deck, but let's keep going. Tell me, tell me why the page of swords came out. It's the 10 of wands. Whoa. Okay. Um, You know, the Ten of Wands is like a heaviness. It's a burdensome energy. You know, I, I'm, you know what I'm getting is like someone needing to get something off their chest. Maybe someone's spying here. Okay, so... This could be... Someone who has feelings for, you know, someone else or maybe someone from their past or I don't know. Maybe it's like a friendship that has grown into something more, but it's weighing heavy. And, I, and I'm getting that it's like the king of pentacles here who spies, who studies, who watches, who's maybe learned a lot about someone from keeping an eye on them, you know. 
you know, or learning about someone through their social media, right? You go to their Instagram and you see all the, the things they share and you get kind of an idea somewhat of what they might be like or into. Um, even though a lot of the stuff that people post is like totally just fake, right? But, but there's a lot of realness too, right? So that's what I'm getting. Okay. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Page of Swords. This is crazy. This is like almost exactly like what happened in Capricorn's message. Very similar. The Seven of Swords. Deceiver. And then the Two of Wands. Okay, so... Seven of Wands is like, I mean, he's like the magician energy. I mean, he's not, it's not the magician, but it is. He's the magician right there, right? He's doing like a, a sword trick, some kind of, right? I will saw the box in half with her inside. <laughs> you know, it's like that. Okay, but it's about, you know, and that's an illusion, right? Like they don't really like saw someone in half. It's a magic trick. Okay, so there could be. The deception, though, I feel is like what I said. I feel like the deception is someone having feelings for someone else. Okay. But like ending, but like, you know, and needing to end something here. <clears throat> this is someone who maybe, you know, has had that energy of like being like a deceiver or a liar or a trickster. Um, there could have been some type of like, I don't feel like they, they feel like maybe if it's someone like, you know, like from your past, like maybe they, they feel like they've maybe betrayed you before by, you know, not being there for you, not showing up for you or not, you know, or, or giving you like an unrequited energy when really they were feeling something different. Like it could be like that kind of stuff too. Okay. Um, two of wands, there's some kind of intention being set here. Oh, followed by the ace of swords to reveal truth, to speak truth. Okay, someone speaking a truth of, you know, wanting to three of pentacles build, start building towards a 10 of pentacles. Is the king of pentacles ending things, um, because they have deep emotions, hidden emotion for another person. Whoa, 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 that flew right out. It's the literal magician. There he is. <laughs> there he is. And then the Knight of Wands. Look at, will you accept my rose? Okay, he's definitely, he's swooning here. Okay, like he's ready to like, you know, go after something. The magician, yeah. So this person, again, the trickster, right? Okay, so and I, I was specifically asking if that's why, because, you know, they they have feelings for someone else and they, you know, it's grown more and more and more, maybe over time or something, or just by watching them, or it's like a, it's like a deep, 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 deep crush type thing, or more than that, you know, it's gonna be different for everybody. Um, but I feel that whoever this is, they also, like I said, were in something very fake, false, and they just couldn't take that either anymore. So it's like a little, it's a lot of that. And it's, you know, also because they, they have caught feelings. They, they, they can't put the feelings down is what I want to say. Knight of Wands and then King of Wands. Yeah. So there's, there's like a progression here. And then look, then the King and then the Emperor, exactly a progression, divine masculine. This divine masculine is, um, manifesting a new beginning in their life. Okay. So let's go ahead and just see. I want to get like a couple of these really quickly. If this is definitely your message, obviously claim it by liking the video. Thank you, my loves, for all the likes, for sharing, for, or, well, I have the comments off right now. <laughs> uh, see, I almost said it again. I think I said it in like Sagittarius says or Aries reading. Um, and I have the comments off and I was like, leave a comment and let me know. Um, but <laughs> I just, I have them off. I've done this one other time through a Mercury retrograde, but I have them off, um, through the mercury retrograde um just to protect the energy from the comment section because people get a little cuckoo <laughs> people get a little cuckoo all right so you know 
bless the hearts of all, but yeah. Gambling, problems with addiction or gambling, bad finances. Okay, so someone could have been struggling with something like that, like, or, or could be going through that right now. Um, addiction, you know, maybe gambling, money, money, you know, gambling, losing money, things like that. But more so than anything, what I'm getting here is, um, and that's like kind of goes with what I said earlier. Like, I felt like maybe you guys maybe have gone through like a dark time where it's like something's got to give maybe financial problems or I'm getting like a financial pinch. Maybe something like that has been kind of looping around you and you just had to go through that cycle and you had to like learn from it and grow patience and, you know, become humbled by it, you know, however that works for you. Right. But I feel that there's an increase here. Okay. You have like a lot of the wheel of fortune, the sun card, you know, the star card aligning, you know, wishes, wishes being fulfilled. You have the justice card. Again, this is like things are balancing out. All right, but I feel like this is about this person taking a risk, taking a gamble. I just want to call it a risk, but it's like it might be feel risky a bit to them because, you know, maybe they're like going to shoot their shot or go after something, you know, something or someone, right? And they don't know how it's going to be. But I'm just, I'm getting like, I'm willing to like take any gamble, you know, it's kind of like that. Yeah, exactly. Look moving and someone else this is like third party energy someone is in the middle someone is trying to sabotage this okay so for me it's just like third person but yeah maybe someone was trying to prevent this from happening okay maybe there was like someone who was envious or jealous of it or i i don't know you know or they 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 know who you are and they felt oh god you know if we break up or we separate i know my person's gonna go after them you know it's like they could maybe feel it Okay, so whoever that's for, um, but moving. It's a change of residence, moving in with your partner. Okay, so some of you guys might be moving, obviously. Um, maybe you just moved or you will be moving. I think for some of you guys, it's you will be moving, okay? You could be looking for a place right now. But I do feel that, you know, this is also about like this breakup here. It's like there could be someone moving out. Um, maybe they live together. Okay, it's also about things moving along. Okay, some of you guys might be moving in with your partner, okay? And then look, there's your water energy, water sign, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, um, and then let's just get one more from the Intuit Oracle. To go even further. <laughs> I feel like too, like if this is someone from, you know, your past, it, it feels like the this emperor or masculine king of wands, like it feels like this person was, like they're just in the ego. They were like hardcore in the ego and they weren't, it's like they weren't willing to, you know, um, maybe be open, connect with emotions, you know, I don't know. But they weren't willing to, to, to gamble that. They weren't real. They felt like it was a big, you know, risk gamble, like, you know, to get hurt or something. The Hierophant, ooh. Okay, so... This is like long-term commitment, marriage. Um, but I, it's also, you know, the higher font, it's a very spiritual energy and it's like faith. Okay. So I feel like <laughs> I'm hearing that song. You gotta have faith, dun, dun, right? Baby. So George Michael. Um, so that can be, you know, George or Michael could be relevant or just the, that song maybe or the words. But anyways, it is, it's about faith. Okay. So it's like, I feel like, you guys have held on to faith. Like this is a card of faith, hope, you know, but it's faith. Okay. And I feel like there's a lot of faith between you and this other person or like they have faith in this. They have faith in you. But yeah, there's, there's long-term commitment here for sure. Taurus energy with that one. Um, and then look at that. I, as I'm saying, long-term commitment for sure, a card flies out onto the ground and it's, the summer waxing crescent, I think. Um, but look what's on the bottom of the deck. You cannot make it up. Commitment. Long-term commitment. The engagement ring. Some of you guys could be moving in with someone 
or the person that comes towards you is someone that you end up, you know, marrying or spending your life with, right? But it's about a promise. Someone wants like making a statement of intent, union, engagement, proposals, taking it says next level. It's all the things. It's beautiful, right? Okay. So, you know, and there's a lot of like unions coming together at this time and they will continue to keep, you know, coming together. Major opportunities. So there could be some kind of major opportunities coming for you. Celebrating the light. Yeah. Celebration energy, like all over this is what I want to say. Um, there's a lot of expansion, enjoyment, building strength. It says, wait, things will unfold. So, you know, this could, you know, obviously be happening around this time, but it could also be like, you know, things will happen, but you just have to have patience and faith. Okay. It's like, it's like coming in. All right. Is, is kind of the message for some of you guys. Um, and for a lot of you, you've been patient, you've, you've learned patience and you've really come so far. And now it's like the stars are aligning. Things are starting to pop off for you. It's like that. Okay. So this is what I have for you, my loves. If you guys want to book a reading with me, you can find the information in the description box. Um, I do offer a few different types of readings and spiritual services. I just thank you so much for being here with me. Um, happy holidays to all of you guys. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I will see you next week. Be sure to check out the other signs in your birth chart. Um, if you feel guided or any sign or any readings that just feel intuitively like, oh, that feels like that's for me, right? Always follow that above everything, right? So, mwah, bye my loves.